I'm Stuart with the Inside Peak. We are at A Kid's Life with Lynn, and yep. she is going to show us around her nonprofit. You're a nonprofit. Nonprofit. And everything here, you know, you guys have great clothes. Looking through it, I mean, they're the cutest, fashionable things for children. You also have a section for moms, and all of those profits go to help orphans, like what you said, that are aging out. Yep that are turning 18, that have had this hard life, yeah. and need that support system yeah. that we all take for granted. Yeah. And that is amazing to me. Yeah. And your heart was, you know, you, you know, you grew up or you guys went to, um, you went off on trips to orphanages in Eastern Europe. Tell me more about that. Well, it was in 1998 and um, our family um, had four young children. We were given the opportunity to do a Bible camp in an orphanage in Latvia, which is one of the former Soviet republics. They got their independence from the USSR in 89 or 90, I think it was. And um, so we went there for six weeks. And um, the story, um, they changed my life more than I had the opportunity to change theirs. And um, so when they made me promise that I would come back and not forget them, when you tell an orphan you love them in their own language, when, um, when you say, yes, I won't forget you, I promise, then as a mother, I know what that means. It means you love them, and to love them means you meet their needs. So I went back after six weeks of being home that summer, and I went back for two more weeks with a friend to say, I'm here. And that was 20 years ago, 50 trips or so later. Here I am, and these kids that I met when they were eight and nine and 10 are still in touch with me. And so you guys are donation-based, so everything here has been donated. Everything has been donated. A lot of things have new tags on them. Um, and when it has a new tag, we price it uh, at least half of the new tag, if not below that. And our books, we have lots and lots of children's books. We like to make our books gift ready so that um, people can actually buy them and, and give them as gifts. And it looks so like, I don't know what I was expecting when I saw like, oh, we're going to a donation space. I was probably thinking something more of like, when you walk into a Goodwill or yeah. things like that. They're great, I like shopping there. Yeah. But it has a very like industrial, like it's, it, it, you know, you just yeah. know you're going into a, like, yeah. a thrift store or a donation center. But here, you know, I walked in and I was like, this is a boutique. It looks like yeah. one of the small boutiques that you would find in downtown Apex. Do you know, a, a, every child is unique, right? Mm -hmm. We all have our fingerprints. I wanted this shop, we have great thrift stores nationally, but also in the area. But I wanted something unique because every child is unique. So I wanted something that we could offer the community that we didn't have a lot of already. How are you getting, um, eventually wanting to get the money from here? to those who to there. Let me just take you over here as I answer that question. Yeah. Um, I met this young man when he was 13. The government gave him a room to live in. The room that they gave him to live in when he left at 19 or so is the room he's still in and it was filled with black mold. It still is filled with black mold. This is his shower. This is where he has showered for 20 years. How do we make a difference with him? Because I'm here. So what I've done over there is in the 20 years that I've been going back and forth, I've made connections with local organizations. The Salvation Army is one. Um, local churches are another. This is one of the local pastors reaching out to him. So we are building a community of support and mentors within their own community so that their people are the ones that are actually making the difference. This was A Kid's Life. This is Lynn. Uh, she's doing amazing things here. You guys should definitely stop in, shop around. If you don't have kids, you probably have nieces and nephews or little kids in your life. This is a great place to come and get gifts for them, a great organization to back up. So definitely stop by.